and welcome to another Alien Sunday. I am now full alien mode. I'm rereading novels. I've rewatched some of the movies. I'm painting figures. Expect a lot of aliens on this channel going forward. This is not going to be like my normal painting tutorials. I'm going to be chatting a lot more through it. You guys are just going to have to follow the paint as it's popping up on screen and ask questions below if you've got any. So today we are painting Private First Class Vasquez, who was a smart gun operator in the United States Colonial Marine Corps. 2179, she was part of a platoon of Marines dispatched aboard the USS Celico on a rescue mission to the Whalen yutani owned terraforming colony Hadley's Hope on Akron LV-426. The model you see in front of you is from Gale Force Nines, Another Day in the Marine Corps, or Another Glorious Day in the Marine Corps. And it represents Private Vasquez, obviously, with her smart gun. The model doesn't have a huge amount of detail. This is a plastic board game piece that you can paint. It's not a high detailed over the top 28 millimeter figure. So it does have enough details to make it interesting, but you can't, you, this could be painted as any kind of marine. And they do make great playing pieces in the uh, Aliens RPG. If you want to represent some uh, colonial marines in that, I highly recommend picking up a pack of these. I'm going to be working my way through the entire set so expect to see more and more of these. Vasquez, she was known to crack jokes regarding mission operatives with a dry sarcastic humour and was more than capable to throw the comedic Hudson jokes back at him. With her good friend and fellow smart gunner Drake, they often encouraged and egged each other on. Vasquez was greatly affected by Drake's death and wanted to go get him after he died, but was restrained by Hicks who knew it was too late for him. Vasquez was an emotional person who showed a lot of anger as the mission dragged on and was more than willing to direct it at her commanding officer, Lieutenant Gorman, after the disaster in the atmosphere processor. She would even let him know that he was an asshole at the time of their deaths. Vasquez also had a habit of disobeying orders, such as when she and Drake were ordered to empty their smart guns, but she kept back the power cells for the weapons and proceeded to fire her weapon inside the processor, which could have caused a nuclear explosion. After Gorman was knocked out and Hicks took command, Vasquez followed orders on fortifying structures to keep the creatures out and deploying sentry guns. Equipment-wise, she is your basic colonial marine and is very good at most firearms. Preferred weapon is the M56 smart gun, which she is armed with here. She does lose this weapon in the first battle in the hive, which is always great. But after that, you see her toting around the M41A pulse rifle. And she also carries a Smith & Western model pistol, which you don't really see any of that on the model. I recently, because I knew I was painting this, I read the new Alien novel that is titled Vasquez. It has a story about her final moments in the colony and her upbringing, which was great to round out the character with, but it also talks about her kids, which obviously you don't know about in the film. And that was a very nice alternative arc going on through those stories and how her upbringing and the, what happened in her life affected her kids and overall led them into similar paths I believe her son became part of Waylon Yutani and was pretty successful. And then her daughter joined the Marine Corps. So that was, it's well worth a read. I'll pop up an image as long as I remember to do it. And uh, I'll drop a link below if you want to check that out over on Amazon. But yeah, as you can see, I'm keeping this nice and simple. I'm not going to go high detailed. Like I said, the model has soft features. And what I mean by that is you, it's not got sharp high detail it shows you what the model is and what it's armed with and you get a little bit of detail like the bandana and the microphone headset but it doesn't go super sharp like it's hard to see where the eyes would be the equipment isn't all there it's it's nice enough for a playing piece you don't want to spend hours on this i know some people have and they've made beautiful models but i'm not it's going to be tabletop ready using just army speed paints and it'll be noticeable that it's her but overall who cares it's going to look good on the tabletop and that is what i'm actually after so to catch up with the painting i did her cloth fatigues which for her is just her trousers i used the sand camo on that if you want to go a step further you could obviously put a camouflage print onto it. Then for the body armor, I used camo green. For the bandana, I used blood red. I'm gonna go back to the bandana and put some white dots on it because that is iconic for her. And then you just saw me use the Gravelord gray for the metallic areas. 
And then we are going to use grim black for the boots, her gloves and her hair. And that's going to be the final step beyond the base. So, like I said, super easy model to paint. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a comment below. And if you like this format of video, I'll uh, do all the alien characters this way. I'll start painting. I'll yab it on with the Wikipedia page or whatever I'm reading from. And you'll learn a bit about the character. And then we can finish up the video with some glamour shots. So as always, make sure you are liking, subscribing, sharing, doing whatever. Just be you, be wonderful, and have a great weekend. Buh boy boy